Welcome to Cynthia's Crafting Room. This is our bog that we've been working on and we're going to do some sand and some paint and some glue around the edges. And you remember I pushed this down in there so that it would be, and it's a very, very good fit. Look at that when we put that down in there. So we're going to go around the edges. With some of this uh, paint and glue and sand and paint it around the edges. So I'll catch you in a few. Okay, here we are. We're going to let this dry. This is what it looks like. So we're going to let it dry for a little bit before we do anything else to it. Catch you in a few. Okay, now we're going to work on some trees. Now, remember all the styrofoam scraps I told you to keep? Okay, this is just two pieces glued together. And then this is our foam board or our sign board that we already put clay on when we had extra clay. So this is for our brick road for the other part of our village in case we have extra clay. And I used a hot glue gun just to glue this on here so we could go ahead and start working on it. I also have a couple of more ready in case we have enough clay. Because, you know, we don't want to waste our clay, so I want to make sure we have enough projects here. I already got the clay mixed up. Remember, you have to wet your work so that the clay will stick to it. Then we'll get a little bit of clay. And we'll start working it in here. Now remember, working with this clay, water is your friend. First we want to get the base covered real good. Now I want this to be kind of like a bog tree, a swamp tree. Just keep working it till you get it where you want. Be sure and kind of knead your clay. Just squeezing it, trying to squeeze it up to get it further up here.
Just keep working it till we get it all the way covered. I know people can say that's a little perverted, but we're trying not to think about that that way. I can feel a little bit of the styrofoam sticking through there. That's what I'm trying to cover up. Well, that doesn't look too bad because it's supposed to be a tree. So, we're going to want I'm going to try making some roots here. Sorry, I keep getting out of the way of the view of the camera. Just kind of smooth it in there. Just keep working it till you get it in there the way you want. And that one's not wanting to smooth in there very good. That's not a worked it good enough.
Just keep working it. Still feeling a little bit of styrofoam there. We need one more red here. Okay, let me clean up here, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I got our mess cleaned up a little bit. Now, what we're going to need now is some super glue. Our wire brush that we used on the other tree stump. And I've got some Woodland Scenics trees. Armatures. I've got uh, a couple of different sizes. And so what, what we're going to do is I took the bottoms off. We're just going to use these to make kind of like limbs for the tree. Okay, so first, we're going to get our wire brush, and like I said, this this first time I've done this, so we're going to get our wire brush and make our bark.
just keep going until you get whoo that is sharp <laughs> just keep going until you get it to look the way you want it to look I hope you can see that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take these armatures and our super glue. Put you a little bit of super glue on here. That just helps hold it in and just stick it in. Now we don't want to spread these out just yet because we're going to want to paint it later. Okay, I'll keep doing this and I'll catch you in a few. Okay, here we go. It's kind of scary. I think I'm going to have to invest in some bigger armatures. Taller. I put one down here, maybe look like a baby tree starting to grow out down there just, just because, okay? Now we have to let this sit overnight before we can do anything else to it. Catch you next time.